Welcome to the channel, human. Click that subscribe button. I just watched the teaser trailer for Joker 2 like five times in a row just because from the start of the, the teaser to the end of the teaser, chills went up my spine. And 99% of the time, I never get chills while watching a teaser trailer, a trailer, or even a movie. But there's something dark, sad, creepy, haunting about this particular teaser. It's like this man is clearly laughing, but you can see that it's not on purpose, that this man is going through a lot of mental pain and probably physical pain as well. Uh, for those of us that saw the first Joker film, that film was fantastic. I mean, it's not the Joker from DC Comics, but they took that character and developed a compelling new story around him. And I can appreciate that being a creative person because whenever you do something with comic book characters, if you make changes, all I ask is that you give us something great, something compelling, something that provokes thought. And back when the first Joker came out, it sparked a lot of conversation, a lot of serious conversation um, about mental health for men. Because there are a lot of men that are suffering in 2024. You know, some of that has to do with their own choices. Some of that is not their fault. I mean, it varies from man to man. But we all know that in this day and age that men are not respected, men are not appreciated, men are demonized. And the world just doesn't seem to care when a man is going through something. They focus more on females. And it's not good if anyone suffers. You know, no one should be suffering, especially when stuff is preventable, avoidable. And if humanity really cared about one another, you wouldn't have these issues. You wouldn't even have Joker in the context of this movie. But, you know, humans, they, they lie. They do and say horrible things. And, uh... You know, this particular take on Joker is very realistic and very applicable to reality. Um, this movie is going to be epic, I think, you know. Uh, it, it's going to have a lot to say, uh, no matter what approach they take. And I'm there for it because I like being able to have my brain on during a film or a movie. You know, just this whole turn your brain off that just automatically implies that the movie or the show is fucking stupid. Um, and DC characters, as they stand in the context of DC Comics, they're extremely compelling. You know, I've always said for the longest time that DC characters are better than Marvel characters. I've said that for many years. And this is coming from a guy that loves Marvel, but... You can take these DC characters and really do something special with them. And this is not about getting everyone to agree. And there's plenty of humans that didn't like the first Joker film because it wasn't the Joker from DC Comics. I understand that, but it doesn't change the fact that Joker, the first film, is a masterpiece. And this one is not going to fall far behind. I can't wait to see a full trailer for this particular film, and I can't wait to see the film. And I was just paying attention to how he's outside and it's raining. This guy is soaked. And he's clearly uh, incarcerated, you know, based upon what we saw at the end of the last film. Um, you know, or maybe he's on his way to freedom. But nah, 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 nah. He's, he's incarcerated. But um, he's going to meet Harley Quinn. And it's all going to be okay because... They're going to kill a bunch of humans together. And murder is wrong, but at the same time, we all know that humans are trash, so I can only feel sorry for humans so much. Especially for someone like myself, who had, like, I was bullied most of my life, you know what I mean? Going through, through uh, the school system um, in America, for me, was fucking terrible. School was horrible. And I, I had to control myself around these humans because a lot of humans deserve to get their fucking jaw broken, you know what I mean? Get put in a hospital for the rest of their lives, have these motherfuckers eating and breathing through tubes. But um, I feel like when I watched the Joker film, I understood his pain, you know, because I was dismissed throughout most of my life. Humans ignoring me, not listening to me, 
you know, uh, humans preferred all these other individuals, you know, that were apparently better than Terrence. So I'm like, okay. But then whenever I had to beat the shit out of somebody or kick somebody in the fucking nose and make the nose bleed, then everyone wanted to treat me like the villain. And then when humans wanted to make adjustments, when they, when they wanted to fix things, it was too late. And in the case of Joker, this shit is too late. All the damage is done. It's done. Sometimes it is too late, and that's the unfortunate dark aspect of this. And when you look at this teaser, you can see and feel the pain and the rage and the suffering. And this is a testament to Joaquin Phoenix's acting. This guy is a great actor, and what he did with Joker is just astounding, mind-blowing. You got to sit back in your seat and just think on some shit. Um... So again, I can't wait to see this. I love this teaser. This is awesome. Terrence out.